Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard. <laughs> I keep wanting to say that I think the number too, that's part of the problem. Is I'm like I'm like Mass Effect 3. So I'm used to saying a number and I want to say five because it's DAV, but it's Dragon Age 4 and nobody's called Dragon Age 4 for like three years. So anyway, I think I was trying to decide what to do. Uh, we have these to do for our friends, and that's that's fine and wonderful. Um, but I think I want to open up a bit more of the crossroads to see if I can acquire more friends. Like, I want to acquire the friends quickly. I like to have them, and then I like to do their quests, you know? So. Let us go forward. As far as I know, the companion missions, once you have them, are not, um on any sort of timer, you know? Uh, yeah, I like this party. An interesting combination of mage and mage killer. I'm wondering if they, if their dialogue triggers like automatically in here? Cause I was just sitting here for a while. Like I hadn't really, I was like getting something ready, you know, like I was doing stuff and then and then it's just, they just started talking to each other, and I was like, oh. I don't know if this was glowing last time. Maybe we are getting more power to the crossroads? The dock's been fixed. The caretaker must be regaining control of the crossroads. Sounds like it. Where are we going? He says, come. Yeah, where are we going? The deeper currents. Okay. <laughs> that scent. I can't place it. For a moment, it smelled like Docktown after it rains. Could be magic from the ancient elves. So, like, smells like home? This is Elvenon's haven, so it does make sense that it would, like, be whatever you associate the smell of home to be in order to, like, make people feel more at home, make people feel more welcome after trying to escape. Oh, good. Was that? That was a con- That was a canary. Why do you sound like that? Oh, my goodness. Hang on, there's things to loot. I am upset that um, I have to fight the guardians too. Like, like why? You know? There's the crossroads guardians, and now the Anton. Stay alert. I get to level up, though. What do I even want? I do. I was eyeing that um, the necrotic. Oh, I can't get it yet. Dang it. Okay. What did we get from this one? Memories of the forest, or of forest, okay. Um, up to wolf one. <laughs> this carved symbol is a common woods marker examination and has a scrapbook of memories drawn from forests in the, in the real world. Seasons flicker past in moments of green and gold, blossom and ice. The brief lives of animals are tiny compared to the inexorable stretch of roots in the rising grounds, crowns of branches. One memory stings painfully. A shout goes up and strangers armed with magical fire move in the night. Figures flee between a burning sky and blackened trunks crying for justice. They vanish and the forests swallow any trace. Shoots grow from the ashes and wandering hollow tread long bones into the earth. The memories fade. Is that? Oh, I was like, what is? That is a another tree person. Oh, geez, they were. Yep. Oh, that's like horrific. Getting dragged back. I'm interested to see how we're like we're gonna get an explanation on that. You know, like why the tree people? I know it's telling me to go that way, but there's something to be explored over Look. here. The statue that controls those bridges is broken. Broken or sabotaged. Doesn't matter. We can figure this out. Please, go on. So, you're not sure you can trust me? Oh, but it's okay. Your idea to hire me. I made the suggestion. Rook made the call. Why? Are you worried I have ulterior motives? That I planted the idea in Rook's head for my own ends? That 
wasn't where this was going. Really? Because I'd have questions. A Tevinter mage breaks a demon-possessed assassin out of prison. We didn't know he was demon-possessed. Mierda. And people mm. say I'm overly suspicious. Maybe they should all face that way? Oh, hi. Company, you get are ready. gonna activate. See the spirits float away? It's my first time noticing that. I thought I had to face them a specific way, but I think what actually has to happen is you need to move these so that they create the bridges, and I assume this is going to be the last one. What is that noise? Fast travel to Elvenon's Haven, at least this new area. They were begging Rob, for somebody. There's a problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. More of dead. What? Oh, I'm good at this. Good. Must have plans I messed up. Too. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Everyone's still alive. You know. Except for them. <laughs> Why? So many undead here. Ooh. For Harding. I guess this is probably where I should take Harding. Well, I've got the fast travel point for when she wants to come. That one has more branches, so is it like a parent tree? And they were like, please help. Like the rest of them were like, please help. I kept assuming there was maybe like a statue behind these. Shit. Was that a. Are you like a gray warden? Where, where, where's this, where's this, like, uh, their armor coming from, you know? Oh, oh my gosh. I have to imagine it was painful to have your form, you know, discombobulated, undone. Okay. Apparently, Ballara and uh, Harding would have loved to come in here. Which does make sense. Hello? Is that a mythol? Like, icon? Evanier's elders require you to destroy several targets to receive the blessings of the gods. Uh, who are you, though? You know what I mean? Where is... An Evanier's altar. I mean, I associate Mythol with dragons. Maybe I should be thinking it's Gelanon, but Gelanon wouldn't be helping me here. Did I... Did I do something? I think I did. Or maybe... Or you want me to You want me to break this stuff and then And then you're gonna give me a blessing? It's a little weird. Oh, uh there's fire. There's fire now. There was not fire before. Plus 100 health. Thank you, Mythol, whoever. And if this is Elvenon Haven, this is probably Mythol, because Mythol was kind. Oh! Heart of Un... Mm, a Heart of Andraste amulet in an elven temple? Oh my gosh. A charm given to newly anointed fathers of the Imperial Chantry. That's so odd. It's so odd to, to read. The cracked stone serves as a reminder of Andraste's mortal heart. Is that a clue or is it just mindless uh, whoopsie daisies? Not really thinking about it. I don't even know if this is actually mythol, so you know. 
When we first started, this was a safe place for spirits to join our cause to find peace from stress of battle. Now I don't know. Not a lot of spirits use it any longer. Have they grown stronger, or has the fight against the Avenirus made demons of us all? The Cathedral of Roots. Okay. Cathedral of Roots. Who was a tree person? We have... Androl has, like, the three ways. Like, the... But... And it's a uh, it's associated with trees like veer whatever like veer something is like way of something. But apparently these roots got out of hand. Maybe these I mean these have to be spirits who have been like who were like made corporeal and then were being made uncorporeal again, or like being absorbed back into the original form. I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. We better get answers. Okay, looks like this was just the end. I have two people here whose like, interest in the You're fade is me. probably nominal. Is it the demon or the mage killer name? Maybe I want the secrets of your coffee supplier. I, that, uh, that's not. That's not. Don't flatter yourself. Not too up much. for a uh, debate. I don't debate. trust anyone on first meeting, and I keep an eye on everything. Well, if you do want coffee, let me know. <laughs> They're becoming friends. These two, I feel, are pretty even killed, and I tend to I tend to gravitate towards even killed characters. I think if you look at I, I like to take Samara and Thane out a lot. Um, in Mass Effect Two, did I get an orb for you? I sense a way through, Dweller. Find that which seals the path. Okay. Oh wait, is this not the? I thought that was the way it wanted me to go. Yeah. To clear the light from Beacon Island, I have to track down. <laughs> Although there's more to explore, that's fine. It's totally fine. No, it really is. There was apparently some offshoots I didn't notice. And I could. These roots may be unbound, Dweller. Seek out what holds it closed. Okay. Oh, this I could probably do. Oh, I did it. Oh, a new exploration level is available. Return to this location. Okay. Sick. All right. Goodies for me? Goodies? Do the butterflies hide goodies? I swear they do. Oh, well, there goes that theory. Oh, these are circling over like a tight, like, I don't know, tight. I can't say Titan without it being potentially low. Oh, look at this! Scaling did. It's a good thing I came over here. Whatever strange realm this mirror. Keeper Howen? I think I recognize that name. This mirror is taking me too. It has, been, it has been sundered somehow. I see a bright light of another island in the distance but with no bridge. It remains a figment. Is this some land destroyed in the war between the Avionaires and the Forgotten Ones? Eee, the lore! See, I'm telling you, the Forgotten Ones and the Avionaires. So it's true, potentially. I don't know how old... Keeper Howen sounds like, though... I thought that was somebody from the Exalted Plains in Inquisition. He's the keeper that you meet of the... Um, the Dalish clan that's there, like kind of stranded, that you help out. I think that's, but maybe it's a different one. His name sounds familiar, regardless. So the butterflies did indicate something. Hold on, hold on. Are there any, anything? You are aesthetically pleasing. Uh, but this is a bummer because apparently I, I say that, but I'm like this person obviously died. I think they've done a better job having actual like skeletal structure that looks legitimate like I just keep noticing the pelvic bones you did a really good job on the pelvic bones <laughs> like, you know not just like a jumble of bones you know any secrets for me I do I miss having the search function I'm I mean I have to use my eyes and I don't mind doing that um, but I'm just worried I'm gonna miss stuff um griffins 
Here's another way to Arlathan, I bet. Reflections on a reflections on a mirror. A Kunari. What? A uh, Kunari. Tarot. Uh, tucked under a stone, these notes are a mixture of Kuhn Lot and the common tongue. The breath of purpose is extinguished. The others have returned to their roles, or they have vanished into the roads beyond. Should I return? My role awaits me, yet I am here, and the worlds I have dreamed of are close. The Kuhn teaches that every step on the path represents the choice to continue or perish, for only the dead remain still. In choosing, we go towards wisdom or away, toward the true self or away. I stand before the mirrors and see a single being struggling with a choice. But solitude is an illusion. Struggle is an illusion. In a reflection, the path forward looks like the path behind. One finds truth by passing through. That's interesting. The path forward looks like the path behind. Which is how Solus sees things. One finds truth by passing through and just seeing where you end up. That's cool. Butter mode. Why does it always turn? I was watching the water. I thought it was really beautiful. Like the water kind of like that that like little floating river of water. I thought it was pretty. Oh my gosh. The ye old dread wolf. statue that is my favorite one this is the one i want a replica of the other one is nice but like i don't know why i have there's not very many of these that are like replicated and i think they are the best ones all right well let me grab harding i guess if i can his art is so good are you happy Oh. Oh, Bellara also had stuff for us to do out here. Dang it. It would happen that Demeter's crossing spreads. Oh, my game. Again, the recording looks fine. My game is a little stuttery. Maybe getting into an area sometimes. Careful out there. Thank you. Um, just trying to help Harding with her magic. You probably should have brought Bellara. Just as a, uh, if we're practicing magic. Oh, there's a quest over there. Also. Yikes. The demon of Virantium, huh? And they called you that before the demon. Ah, you don't have that enchanted barbed arrow in your quiver because you think it's pretty. It is, though, isn't it? The red shimmer is the enfeebling magic. And the spike tip is designed to splinter inside the target. Very nice. I thought you'd like that. I really hope I don't have to use it, though. Cost me a lot of gold. That's why you only have the one. Well, I only need one. Especially from this close. And why is everybody being very, like, standoffish? You know, can't we all just, can't we all just get along? I get it, though. Like demon demony stuff, you know. Never never hurts to be too careful, I guess. I mean it does hurt to be too careful, honestly. Everything is in there. What do you want me to do? The relic. Did I touch it? Why did I bring it home? Here, hey, hang on, hang on. spirits overwhelmed by bad emotion eventually they turn could this spirit sense the agony of the dalish who recently died in the forest help them help me i can't lose the horror we need the horror we so she's just manifesting all the fears the path shifting the tracks go in circles but how no we're not lost. Maybe if we found the people the spirit's talking about, that might help. Okay. 
Let's go get them. Why are there deep stalkers here? Why? I ask again. We are not anywhere near. <laughs> We're not anywhere near any deep road stuff. Nice one, Lucanus. Look how supportive we all are. Friends helping friends. Uh, okay, magic -y. Don't ever say that again. That sounds so very millennial, and I say that as a millennial. Why? Yes. Uh, I think it's just it's just gonna be me and her with not Lucanus. That's fine. If it's just like individual, if she just wants to practice with me, you know. This should be perfect. Yeah, it seems like it. It's wide open, lots of rocks, and away from people. I don't want to try anything where I could hit someone. Yeah, Maybe if I, see more I know. Of this stone magic, it'll seem less weird. This is all new to me too, you know. Come on. Oh, she Maybe appreciates that I was honest. It's going to be really useful for a scout. Getting up high for good vantage. Let's try it out for practice. There's fade fish out there. <sighs> all right. See this rock? I'm gonna move it. She's an earthbender. Oh, awkward. Don't give up. You're still new at this. I can do this. I can do this. You can do this. I thought I had it all for conversations. No! But I did it before. When we were fighting Dark Spawn. I do look pretty epic, though. We were in danger. Maybe that helped. So, a mental cue. Some kind of emotional trigger. Maybe you could think about how your abilities protect us? Instinct. Protection. Shield myself. Shield others. If I had this magic before, I could have. I could have protected the people who matter. Don't be sad. <sighs> uh. Okay, we're gonna do the. We're gonna do this because I wanna. I wanna hear more about this. I'm here for you if you want to vent. <laughs> And make us both miserable? Let's not. I just want to enjoy the moment. Being around you makes me feel... That was fast. ...lighter, somehow. Uh... Your hair is so pretty. We should do this more often. <laughs> just you and me. This went so fast. People might talk. I was trying to just be nice. Walk. That we like doing stuff together? Ooh, scandalous. Scandalous. Right. Right. Of course. Why would they talk? Maybe I did you mean something else. One flirt. No. No. Of course not. I I mean Are you blushing? No. I mean yeah. You try moving rocks with your mind. I can not even age. I, I mean I should go practice more. Shouldn't I? I should. Sometimes the like heart options are just ones where you're nicer and like you're inquiring more. So I, I was thinking. Think you could find us a route? Maybe. That's what I would do. I'll take a look. But apparently not. Apparently those were the earlier options and now we're later in the game where they're gonna mean something. Hide helmet. Hide helmet conversations. Yes, please. Why wouldn't we do that? I bet you could move this to give us something to climb on. Do I have to activate it? I do have to activate it. Hang on. Wait, was oh that's where we came in. Okay. I was like, what did we miss? 
See, now there's just, I don't, are they just making fun of us that they actually did just make hands that were separate? Or maybe that one got thrown over there and wasn't actually designed to be at that waterfall? There was a giant face. I did see a giant face in the water at some point. Like a stone face. <laughs> well done. Let's find another rock for you to practice on. The multitudes called out. Finding solace in each other. What? Well, I don't know. I was just saying something, wasn't I? <laughs> just came to me. Utilizing her power is probably gonna wake up. Oh, a broken alluvian shoe. Uh, give give more power to whatever is inside her, because it is definitely an entity of some sort. You know. She's not possessed. I think it's just activating something that's been long dormant in the dwarves, but this place is think you could clear a path for us. Arlathan's so beautiful. Leave it to me. Look at that. You're getting good. <laughs> Wanna try another one? Why not? I mean, I assume we're gonna explore this area, you know? Like, I would think you'd wanna keep going to wherever, we're, we're kinda heading towards a building. Got it. There you go. Practice is really helping, huh? I might even be ready for a bigger challenge now. Oh good, you've jinxed us, cool. So many rocks, and they feel different. That one's granite, that one's slate. I think that one might be quartz. I wonder if the rock's composition affects my magic. That is an excellent Sorry. question. Just thinking out loud. No, that's an Let's excellent get question. get back to it. Practicing. Rock I mean. composition changes a lot of things, like whether or not you can use it for tool stone. Uh, I think there are... There's that painting on the underside of the bridge. I can't believe that's still active, even though we pulled stuff out. This one. Oh, the tree people are no good. They are not great. You got it. Let's find a couple more. Of course. It's they no trouble for you now. Doing poorly. I know. This is great. Right. Look, the abilities are still strange, but at least you're learning to control them. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> What was that? What? Someone's in trouble. I mean, I was just trying to figure out how to get up here. Another one? Oh, maybe it's, um... I think it's the same one, sort of? Oh, nice. Okay. Don't let Over me here, fall. Don't let we me need to fall. move quick. Why are there so many? Please, someone. Is anyone out there? What why Someone's are there so trouble. many little orbs? We need to go. Little, I guess diamonds rather. Uh, I, I can move. Hold on. Are you real? Over there. I bet that's where he is. <sighs> of course, we can't just have a nice outing. <clears throat> Easy. Maker, I thought I was dead for sure. <clears throat> Harding wouldn't let that happen. Oh, the rocks. How did you do that? I. Oh? Harding? Do you hear that? Hear what? They're waking up! The, the titans! Sister, I feel you. Ooh. Touched by the ancients as I was. 
find me. Look to those closest to the stone and find me. Are they? What's wrong? The what dead? I'm... I'm sorry. Let's just get our friend to safety. And then we'll talk. The dwarven dead are buried in the stone. Ugh. So they would be the closest to the stone. Friends with Harding. The Oracle reminds me of the person, what happens to the person in, um, ooh, Bell Jumpers, um, to our Dwarven guide friend in the Descent DLC. Um, she becomes, like, she kind of gets, like, somehow infused with the Titans and is, like, Nothing. We, we never really do anything else, so I don't. I don't know. They don't like to play with the DLCs very often. Like they don't like to include the DLC lore. Sometimes they're just like, "Woo!" It's like like vague lore, but any specifics, they're like, "Ah," you know. Oh wow. Um, cool. But yeah, so the Oracle could be um, that woman who. Like, she was a normal dwarf, and then she was, like, infused with the titans. Somehow, I can't quite remember, but she ends up hearing them. She ends up being able to, like, communicate with them somehow. Interesting. Lucanus is like, I took a nap. And we're like, that's probably a bad idea in the Fade, but pop off, king. <laughs> Ooh, Balara's new armor looks cool. I like it. I like that we get to change them, and but that also that's like, this is specifically for so-and-so. And I'm like, alright, I don't have to do too much with it. I do miss the crafting. I really enjoyed that in Inquisition. I enjoyed the min-maxing on that, but... Alas. Okay, here, I we have story stuff for people. It talks about the stone, the enigmatic concept frequently invoked by the dwarven people that is simultaneously deity, ancestor, and homeland. Yes. So you can probably, I've read it super fast, so I'm not going to read these out loud yet. We don't have anything for her yet. What she finds could change all of them forever. I need to deal with Spite eventually. Well, yeah, each quest we do that involves somebody, Varric's like, but there was more going on beneath the surface. And I'm like, okay, I get it. Uh. <laughs> Stop stressing me out. Oh, okay. So in order to continue the story, we would need to do the Shadows of Minrathis. All right. Maybe I should, I'll probably do the companion quests first. Because there's no way to get further. It's the way what? Oh, because Hosberg is in the free marches, I think. Maybe I need to clear the crossroads first before things will open up. But. Yeah, I'll probably do the companion quests first, just so, because I have them, and I think, you know, if I don't do them, it'll start getting overwhelming, and I'll be like, you have eight companions who would like to do something with you, and I'm like, hmm, <laughs> I don't have time, <laughs> but yeah, no, this has been cool, I, I'm enjoying exploring the cro crossroads, and like, seeing how areas open up, and it really is, it's beautiful, too, to be an Arlathan, like, I'm really enjoying that, so, um, just all the areas are really nice, so. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut away now and say thank you to my patrons. Actually, as promised before in the last video, we're going to do codex entries really quick before I say thank you to Patreon. So queue up two codex entries. Lyrium. Lyrium is the key. There's Blackwall. I have Blackwall's card over there. Oh. Lyrium is the king of metals. Beneath our feet, it sings. When This is a dwarven thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... 
When properly refined, it is a smooth, slightly iridescent silvery liquid. In the hands of the Dwarven Smith case, it is mixed with steel to produce indestructible armor and blades that hold an edge for centuries. In the hands of the Shaperate, it becomes a repository for living memories. And some scholars maintain this as evidence that Lyrium is itself alive. Oh, we already had this back in Origins. This is from Origins, I'm pretty sure. Um, interesting. Becomes a repository. I mean, we knew this, right? The Shaper, they inscribe upon the stone and they use Lyrium to do it. Um, but I'm, I've probably seen this and been like, oh my gosh, before, but like, yes. Uh, I don't think we weren't 100% sure if Lyrium was alive. We thought it was mostly a mineral for a long time. Um, and I, again, I just maintain that it is so funny because the Templars, right? Like, a Southern Thetis, the Templars are, like, adamantly against blood magic and, like, you know, they, they're adamantly, usually, like, they don't really like magic much at all. You know, it's kept very contained and isolated, like the mages are. Um, and the Templars are the ones doing that, and they drink lyrium to, like, to have their own sort of, like, I don't know, connection to the fate. It's not magic, I promise, you know. Um, but technically what they are doing is blood magic because when we learned that Lyrium is the blood of the Titans, it's like, oh snap, the whole time the Chantry who hates blood magic and hates magic, except for under certain circumstances, is having their, like, military branch do blood magic by drinking blood. Magic blood. You know, I just think it will never not be funny. Also the fact that they have the, um... Phylacteries, right? Every mage, when a mage like passes their harrowing, gets a little bit of blood taken from them and put in a jar. And it's so that if you try to run away, um, the Templars can track you with your blood. And it's like, that's blood magic. You guys are using blood magic, even though it's like the, like they'll put you to they'll, they'll put you to death for it or make you tranquil, I separate your um, your essence from the fade, and you just become like a zombie person essentially, running like walking around like boop boop boop, no emotion at all. Um, and they're like they're, that's knowingly using blood magic in my mind. But the chantry is like no no no, it's fine it's fine it's the legal kind. You know what I mean? I'm like you. <laughs> it's always been one of those things. Um, it finds its most lucrative, it finds its most lucrative, its application in the hands of the Formari, who use it in conjunction with the baser metals like gold, silver, right, viridium, or even iron to produce enchantments. Though mages, of course, consume it in a diluted form to bolster their abilities, this is not recommended. Overindulgence in lyrium can have disastrous consequences, particularly in, their, particularly in more concentrated amounts. It is not advisable, for instance, that any reader handle raw lyrium, which in many cases can kill on contact. From an alchemical primer on metallurgy, volume one. Um, the Imperial Chantry. This is the yeah. Northern Chantry. There are those that would tell you that the Chantry is the same everywhere. It is here that the divine and Val Royo reign supreme in the eyes of the Maker, and that this fact is unquestioned throughout Thetis. Mm -hmm. Do not believe it. The Maker's Second Commandment, magic must serve man, not rule over him, never held the same meaning within the ancient Deventer Imperium as it did elsewhere. The Chantry there interpreted the rule as meaning that mages should never control the minds of other men, and that otherwise their magic should benefit the rulers of men as much as possible. When the clerics of Deventer altered the Chant of Light to reflect this interpretation of the commandment, they altered it straight up. The Divine of Val Royo ordered the clerics to revert to the original chant. They refused, claiming corruption within Val Royo, an argument that grew until in 387 Towers, the third age, I think. The Chantry and Tevinter elected its own legitimate and uncorrupted divine Vahel, who was not only male, but also happened to be one of the most prominent members of the Tevinter circle of Magi. This black divine was reviled outside of Tevinter's existence in offense to the Chantry and Val Royo after four exalted marches, uh, basically crusades. Uh, to dislodge these rebels. All that the Chantry and Val Royo accomplished was to cement the separation. While most aspects of the Imperial Chantry's teachings are the same, prohibitions against magic have been weakened and male priests have become more prevalent. Um, usually they can only be acolytes in Southern Thetis, or like the lowest branch of like religious uh, person. Um, and all the prominent positions and most of the other positions are held by women. 
The Circle of Magi today rules to Vinter directly, ever since Archon Noramon was elected in 734 Storm, directly from the ranks of the Enchanters to great applause from the public. He dispensed with the old rules forbidding mages from taking part in politics, and within an age, the true rulers within various imperial houses, the mages, took their places openly within the government. The imperial divine is now always drawn from the ranks of the first Enchanters, and operates as divine and grand Enchanter both. This is utter heresy to any member of the Chantry outside of Vinter, a return to the days of Magisters which brought the blights down upon us. Us, but it exists, and even though we have left the Deventer Imperium to the mercies of the dread, folk, of the dread Canari, still they have endured. Further confrontation between the Black Divine and our so-called White Divine is inevitable. From the Edicts of Black Divine by, Dave, by, by Father David Quarnes, 811, blessed. So this was written by somebody in Tevinter. He's a father. They, they, don't have, they don't have a father position. like They have like a mother position in Southern Thetis. All right, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patrons, Reese Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest Tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.